All right, this is totally a half-baked thought, so bear with me on this one. Um, but I'm hoping someone might find it helpful or someone might help me figure out a better way of explaining it. But I was thinking about how do I approach my garden, but taking it from the perspective of like who, what, where, when, and why. Um, and let's come back to who, because I think that's probably the least important one. But when I think about like what, uh, the first thing I want to think about is what is the limiting factor of growth in my garden? Is it nutrients? Is it the physical properties of the soil? Is it the hydrology, the way that the plant's receiving water? Um, is it the biological properties of the soil? Is it light? Is it VPD? You know, any number of things could be the limiting factor in my, in my room or in my grow or even outdoors with my plants. And so that's the first thing that I always wanna start with is what. Uh, next is where. Where do I wanna apply something or where do I wanna address it? So uh, for that one, I think of nutrients specifically. Like, do I wanna do a foliar application where uh, something might be available a little bit faster to the plant? Um, do I want to do a soil-based application? As I look at this soil here, uh, if it's with organic nutrients, I may be wait, waiting, you know, anywhere from seven to 14 days to see a plant response from that. Uh, and during that time, the plant's going to be stressed, which is going to reduce its ability to fight off pests and pathogens and also reduce potentially uh, yield. I might get a bump in secondary metabolites, but it's going to come at a cost. So uh, maybe I need to do uh, a liquid application or something a little faster acting. Uh, like a bottle of nutrient or uh, fish hydrolysate or something like that. Um, so who, what, where, um, when, when do I do the application? I think timing is really important. Uh, again, I keep going back to nutrients. Uh, I think about, do I want to be applying nitrogen towards the end of my cycle as my plant is starting to finish? Um, if my plant needs nitrogen prior to that, absolutely, I want to apply it, but in a dosage that's not going to leave too much nitrogen in the soil um, as, I, as I finish up my cycle. So I think about timing with applications as well as something that's really important when we talk about fertility. Um, and again, when maybe, maybe when relates to when those nutrients become available to the plant. And I'm thinking about it from an organic perspective of top dressing dry nutrients. And keep in mind too, when we talk about organic fertilizers, if I top dress something like our nutrient pack here in this soil, or I mix it into the soil, uh, you know, more thoroughly, that's going to make it more available faster. Also, if I use nutrients that have a smaller particle size or greater surface area, those are going to get broken down by microbes and water uh, much faster as well. So think about that too. Um, and then lastly, like why? Why am I doing whatever action I'm doing? I think people skip this step a lot. They get caught up in marketing hype or products that they see online. They think it's going to vastly change the quality of their garden. And I think that in most cases, that's simply not true. So we want to think about like, why am I doing this application? Am I truly addressing a limiting factor of growth or am I guessing? And if I am guessing, but I think it's an educated guess, then maybe I apply it to part of my garden and not to the other part so that I can have a side by side uh, and see what this particular application or technology does in my personal grow environment. So uh, just throwing that out there to think about. And then lastly, who, I guess the who could be where I'm sourcing products in terms of who I want to give my uh, dollar to. I think that's important. Um, or maybe can I find something more locally or more sustainable as an option? So, all right, again, like I said, this is a little bit of a half-baked thought. It's just something that's kind of been mulling over my head the past few weeks and I haven't figured out a way to express it all that well, but maybe someone in the comments can come up with something better.